second graders, Miss Diorio here from Citizenship Academy with your lesson 23. So for this lesson, we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to be using number barns to break down numbers, kind of like we did in the last lesson, but we're going to be subtracting three digit numbers from two digit numbers. So yes, we're switching gears, but we're using what we've done in the last couple lessons where we break down our numbers into our tens and our ones and using place value to help us subtract. So we got this. All right, we're going to start off with a warm-up, a subtraction warm-up, because it's going to help us when we start using bigger numbers. So here's what I'm going to ask you to do. 16 minus 9, we're going to look at that number. Now, do we take 9 from the 10 or from the 1s? What that's asking is if I write 16 minus 9 on my board, I'm going to break 16 minus 9, I'm going to break 16 into its 10s and its 1s. Now, are we going to take 9 from 6 or 9 from 10? We're going to have to take it from the 10, right? So our next step is going to be 10 minus 9, right? Now it's 10 minus 9. 1, beautiful. And then our, what do we still have to add in that's left over? Our 6. So it's going to be 1 plus 6 equals 7. So what's our answer? 16 minus 9 equals 7. Awesome. All right, let's try another one. So I want you to try this one on your own. I'm going to do it on my board, and you can do it on yours. 15 minus 7. Are we going to take from the... Ooh, I told you the answer. Break down the 15 into its 10s and its 1s. Are we going to take from the 10 or from the 1s? The 10. Beautiful. Now I want you to write that number sentence, taking the 7 from the 10, and tell me the answer. Now we got to add our ones back in, so go ahead and do that step. Good. And then what's our complete number sentence? 15 minus 7 equals 8. Beautiful. All right, try this one on your own. 14 minus 8. So go ahead and write that on your board and break down 14 into its tens and its ones. Ready? Are we going to take 8 from the 10 or from the 1s? From the 10. Good. Now tell me that number sentence. Yeah. 10 minus 8 equals 2. Now we have to add back in our 1s. What are those extra 1s? And what's that number sentence going to be? Good. 4 plus 2 equals 6. So 14 minus 8 equals 6. Good. Let's do one more. 13 minus 6. So write that on your on your paper. Break down 13 into its 10s and its 1s. Now are we going to take 6 from the 10 or from the 1s? Good, from the 10. So show me that number sentence. 10 minus 6 equals 4. Good, now add back in your 1s. 3 plus 4 is 7. Awesome. So 13 minus 6 is 7. Beautiful. All right, we're going to skip these because I think we got it. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Now, you can put your paper away for right now because we're going to do some mental math just to practice adding within 100. Okay. What is the number sentence for 10 more than 100? So I want you to tell me in a number sentence form. Good. 100 plus 10 is 110. What is 25 more than 100? Tell me that number sentence. Good. 100 plus 25 is 125 equals 125. What about 34 more than 100? Good. 100 plus 34 equals 134. And what about 42 more than 100? Tell me that number sentence. 100 plus 42 equals 142. Let's try these ones. What is the number sentence for 50 more than 100? Just tell me out loud. 100 plus 50 equals 150. Very good. What about 67 more than 100? 100 plus 67 equals 167. Awesome. 70 more than 100. 
100 plus 70 equals 170, and then 78 more than 100. What would that number sentence be? Good. 100 plus 78 equals 178. All right, let's do our application problem. Yosef downloaded 115 songs. 100 of them were rock songs. The rest were hip, were hip hop songs. How many of Yosef's songs were hip hop? So I want you to pause. I don't want you to solve yet. I want you to talk about how we can solve this problem. Talk about what the problem is asking and how we can solve. Pause and talk to someone at home right now. Good. So what I'm going to do, so we want to find the difference, right? We want to find the difference between the two numbers. 115 songs total. We know 100 of them were rock songs, but do we know how many were hip hop? No, right? That's what we want to find out. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram. 100 here, and then the rest are hip hop. I want you to pause and solve on your own, in your own way. Okay, I want to see what you come up with on your own to find the difference. Go ahead and do that now. Good. Okay, so I'm going to do it during using the arrow knife because I think it's just a visual way for me to show you. But you could have solved it any, uh, any multitude of ways. So we have 115 total. So I'm going to start with 115. Now I need to get down to 100. So to do that, I know I need to subtract 15. Or I need to subtract 100 to get to 15. So there's a difference of 15. So 15 songs were hip hop. Thumbs up if you got that. Good. All right, we're going to skip this part because I want to get into showing you how to subtract using number bonds. Okay, so these numbers look pretty big, right? Look pretty big, pretty intimidating. It's not going to be that bad, I promise. So I want you to write 170 on your, 107 minus 90 on your paper right now. So pause and do that. Okay, so when we subtract this way with our number bonds, we're going to break apart the whole. And we're going to break it apart into its parts. So we're going to break 107 apart into 107. Now from there, we're going to do the same thing we did in our warm-up today by subtracting by the number that we can. Now, so can we subtract 90 from 7? No, right? But can we subtract 90 from 100? Yeah, right? So we're going to, our next step, now that we broke down our big hole, we're going to take it into parts. We're going to subtract 100 minus 90. That's an easy factor for us to solve. We got 10. We know that. Now, our next step, just like we did in the beginning, is to add in those extra ones. So we're going to add the 10 plus the 7, and we get 17. So 107 minus 90, which is a crazy big number, we can break it down in the same way that we break down our smaller numbers and get the answer. So we got 107 minus 90 equals 17. That wasn't so scary, was it? Let's try another one. So 127 minus 70. Write that on your paper. It sounds scary. We're going to break it down. 127 minus 70. So we're going to break down our whole. Okay? We're going to break it down into 100. Okay? Because that's an easy number for us to subtract and then our other 27 ones, okay? You're not gonna break it apart into hundreds, tens, and ones. You're gonna break it apart into the hundred and then the other group, the other ones. So 127, okay? From there, I'm gonna do this on my board for you. Can we subtract 70 from 27? We can't, right? So we're gonna take 100 minus 70. So I'm going to write that on here. I want you to do the same. 100 minus 70 is our next step. And we get 30. Now, just like in our problem from the beginning, we have to add in our extra ones. 30 plus 27. That's an easy fact for us to solve, and we get 57. So 127 minus 70 is 57. Good. All right, let's do another one. I want you to write this on your paper. 133 minus 70. 60. Then I want you to break down 133 into 100 and its extra ones. Okay, so I'm going to do the same. 133 minus 60. Break it down into its 100 and extra ones. So one of your parts is going to be 100. Your other part is going to be what? Good. 
Now, when we look at this, can we subtract 60 from 33? Nope. So we're going to subtract whoop, 60 minus 100, and we get 40. Okay, so write that number sentence. And then from there, what do we have to do? Yes, just add in our extra ones. 40 plus 33 equals 73. Good job. All right, I want you to try this one on your own, then we're going to go over it. So 128 minus 70. Break apart 128 into 100 and its extra ones. Subtract 100 plus your part. Add them back together. Pause, solve, you got this. Done? All right, let's go over it. So we have one part as 100, 100, 28, so our other part's going to be 28. Now, we can't subtract 70 from 28, so we're going to subtract 70 from 100. 100 minus 70 is good. Now we're going to add our 30 plus our extra ones. 30 plus 28 gives us 58. Thumbs up, you got it? Nice job. All right, I'm going to show you your exit ticket for today. At the top of the paper, I gave you an example. You're going to break down your hundred, your whole, and do a hundred and the extra ones. Okay? Then you're going to subtract one hundred from the part, because most of the time the part's going to be bigger. So you're going to write that number sentence out, and then you're going to add in your extra ones. When you solve this, make sure you write on your paper, write the number sentence. Show me the number bond. Show me the 100 subtraction sentence, and then show me the extra ones. So I should see three number sentences on your paper. Okay? I don't want you to just, yes, I want you to work through it. Number bond, number sentence, number sentence. Okay? Be careful again with your answers. I'm going to try and trick you to see if you did them right. Okay, so be careful when you choose your answers. I want to see number sentence, number bond, number sentence, number sentence, just like in the example. Do all the steps. Don't skip any. And I will see you tomorrow.